veteran Democratic state Senator Terry Bonoff announced this weekend she will run against Republican Congressman Eric Paulson. Bonoff is entering the race at a time when Democrats across the country believe Republicans may be vulnerable if Donald Trump is the party's nominee. Here's Esme Murphy with tonight's Talking Points. Some call it the Trump effect. It's a theory that if Donald Trump is the party's nominee, it could hurt moderate Republicans in local races. Congressman Eric Paulson's district includes the western suburbs of Brooklyn Park, Minnetonka, Eden Prairie, and Bloomington. First elected in 2008, Paulson has easily won his previous re-election bids. But the district has also voted for Barack Obama twice, as well as Senator Amy Klobuchar. And that is why Democrats believe they can win this seat, especially if Trump or even Senator Ted Cruz is the nominee. Senator Terry Bonoff was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. Eric Paulson ought to put his foot down and say, I reject this. I reject candidates who talk about building walls. I reject candidates who allow the kind of violence that has gone on at political rallies. I think that Eric Paulson needs to defend his silence on too many issues. While Congressman Paulson has a strong conservative voting record, he has also made it a point to work with Democrats in Congress. The Bonoff Paulson race means Minnesota will now have three of the most watched and expensive congressional races in the nation. The others are the rematch of Stuart Mills and Rick Nolan in the 8th District and an all out war for the 2nd District, which has been left open by the retirement of Congressman John Klein. Congressman Paulson had endorsed Senator Marco Rubio, but since Rubio's withdrawal, has not endorsed any other presidential candidate. Paulson's campaign says that Bono's record would be difficult for her to overcome, blaming her for income and sales tax hikes in the state. You can watch WCCO Sunday Morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinek every Sunday at 6 a.m. and 10.30 a.m.